We interrupt this regularly scheduled Sexy September for Friday the 13th. A New Blood. The New Blood. Uh, ch 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> fine. Um, <laughs> this is the fourth special edition film seizure. This is not a regular episode. We're, we're releasing this in between some episodes. Not connected to Sexy September, though I will say there are a couple of sexy moments in this movie. Yes. Um, which is weird to say for this a Friday 13th This is one of the hotter movies. casts. We've oh, talked about, you've we've talked talked about, about it. You've talked about yeah, hot casts I before. have talked about this. Because I, I talk about that enough in my other, <laughs> my other persona. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, so a little bit of story here. Um, 2019 is weird for Friday the 13th. They didn't happen until today, which is September 13th, and then again in December. Yeah. So the last Friday the 13th was July 13th, right. 2018. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's like we, we kind of have a little bit of a, of, of a kinship with Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go all the way back to our 10th episode, 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, Yes. Um, that was the first time we recorded any conversations uh -huh. like this. That was actually proto film seizure. Yes, we were still trying to figure out our format. We were still trying to figure out what we got. Uh huh. So we had these this two and a half hour conversation about the first three Friday the Thirteenth laying around, <laughs> yes. and I was like, "Why don't we just release it for April thirteenth, uh, and we'll just make it our tenth episode?" And I recorded a little opening that said basically this was a a, a pilot basically that we're uh going to go ahead and release which also began our weekly schedule yeah it's true yeah um so uh so we did that and then in for july 13th we did the tommy jarvis trilogy yes four five six uh we were drunk yeah. <laughs> yes i kept playing uh the lion song from part five or four whichever part four or five whichever movie that one was i in. got extremely emotional over part four and several I, parts I guess. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. I yeah. think you were just drunk. I was just drunk. <laughs> but uh but I but but I got really I got really emotional over um uh female agency and and what I feel is the is the most uh uh chilling death scene in, in the entire franchise. Yes. 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 Um so Wow, you remember? I, I remember, remember those the, two things. I don't remember yeah. the female agency thing. Yeah, I just remember playing that same goddamn song over and over and over. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Lion was that? Was that? Yeah, it was four or five. Four? I can't. I think it's. I it, think Lion is five. Is that the song she's dancing to in the? In no, the no. It was supposed to be a different. Song. I don't remember which one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's in the past. Those are fun too, though. Those are that uh, so that Tommy Jarvis trilogy is our longest episode to date. Yeah, clocked in over two hours. Yeah, and I didn't want to break it up. I was like, I don't want to break it up. We're it just gonna good, we're just gonna do it. It's three movies. It's three movies. We talked about three movies. We did it. We did. Uh, but upward and onward now to part seven. We're getting real near where Jeff will check out and never <laughs> check back in. I started to check out in this one. I know you did, but. Um, so, uh, part seven. Yeah. A couple of, of significant things here. The new blood. The new blood. One, there is new blood. There is. Uh, to be two, shed. Two, uh, this is the first Kane Hodder, Jason. Right, yep. Uh, previously it was different people. He would, uh, he would take over from here until, um, well, Jason X was his last. So he yeah. did, he did four, he four, of four of them. Yeah. Um, this is um, also directed by uh, John Carl Beekler, who is a, a visual effects guy uh, in the 80s, mostly 70s and 80s. Uh, he did do some like on screen. So like I've seen a movie where he played like a monster guy, like he designed it and then he played the, the monster that he designed. Uh, but he directed a few movies, too. It, it kind of like he's. Um, I think he's relatively well appreciated in the special effects makeup or the makeup effects world. Well, the special effects in this movie were great when you got to see them. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Um, just to, to kind of give a heads up, this is not going to be a full episode of Film Seizure. This is just a special. Uh, we're, you know, uh, you know, we did this before with, with Joe Bob, with Suspiria. 
Uh, I did the thing for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, you know, this is just meant to to say uh, to to kind of sate that uh that that Friday 13th thirst. Yes. Friday the 13th. You have it. Friday the 13th. Yeah, that's yeah. why I said that. Did you just I come up that. with that on the fly? I did. There? That was good. I did. I'm quick <laughs> I'm quick-witted. Um anyway, uh so uh, John Carl Beekler um if I'm not mistaken, like he mostly did B movies. But every now and then he would do something a little bit bigger. Um, but I think he's well appreciated by, uh, you know, like the, the Savinis, the, um, Greg Nicotero's of the world. Uh, but he was asked to basically direct this and really honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm pretty sure you could just have created a Friday the 13th director bot yeah. to make these movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, get some teenagers, get a couple of them naked, make sure they're up to shenanigans. We did troll. Yeah, you did troll. I fucking love troll. There you go. You did troll. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it's so really honestly, this was this was a step up for him because, you know, his name's now on a Friday the thirteenth movie. Yeah. Um unfortunately he passed away earlier this year. Oh. Um, but uh but because uh, I think the latest at the time that we're recording this, the latest issue of Fangoria had like a remembering John Carl Beekler in it. So he's died within the last mm, few months. Prostate cancer. Yeah. It's a killer, man. Yep. So uh, this also was kind of meant to be uh, a first crossover type of movie. Uh, a lot of people think of this movie as the um, uh, Jason versus Carrie. You know, the, yeah. and, and that's, I think, yeah. what it was originally developed to try to be, but they couldn't. They couldn't get it sorted out for it to actually be Carrie, whatever her name is, Carrie White. Carrie White. Yeah. Uh, Boy, that would have been weird. That would have been weird. But it was, my guess is, was to open the door to say, well, why not Michael Myers versus Freddy Krueger? Right. Why a, not why Jason versus this, Freddy? This monster universe. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm still all for that shit. Um, I think that's really the only way you go forward with these types of franchises is when you have them fight each other and just make these stupid movies like right. Freddy versus Jason. You know, that was the next logical movie for both of those franchises. Right. In my opinion, you can't make right. those movies again. It's just as stupid. We've seen it all. You got to up the ante. You got to do something even more ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. And this movie effectively does that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it ups the ante. Yeah. It gets some, uh, you know, it's, you've got now Jason really not meeting his match in a, in, intelligent capable person but instead a person who has some superpowers really yeah. i mean i mean yeah it's not to who say could, that she could... isn't intelligent or capable but she's capable in other ways and she can hold her own physically against that and you know powerful whatever the hell that you call Jason being or whatever. Yeah. yeah, he's some sort of monster zombie or something. Yeah, so it, it gives him a, a formidable physical equal. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so basically this movie, we're, we're talking about the character Tina, uh, who is a pyro... Wait, no. Telekinesis. Telekinetic. 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 Uh, who can move things with her mind. Uh, when she was young... Her mom and dad got into a fight. I guess his her dad uh, slapped her mom around, and out of anger, she caused a, a pier to collapse and and caused the death of her dad. Right. Ten years later, um, she is uh, being uh, 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 treated by uh, Doctor Weekend at Bernie's. Yes. And um, <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's is. Just really, just wanting to, to study her telekinetic ability. We can remember it's because it's the it's Terry same Kaiser. actor, Car Terry Kaiser. Yeah. Yes, just for those who don't. Doctor Weekend of Burns. Don't understand That's the joke. Doctor Weekend of Burns. I feel name. like he should have been wearing those like round sunglasses the whole movie. Yeah, at least yeah. grow your mustache, Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird seeing Terry Kaiser without a mustache. <laughs> uh, anyway, so um, basically, he's just trying to use her abilities. And to to amp them up by scaring her, by getting her into uh, a very stressful situation, so that he can make a buck off of her. Yeah, he wants to see what she's capable of, basically. Like, yeah, 
what what can she really do? Is this moving quarters across the table, or is this fucking blowing people's heads up? <laughs> right. Yeah. She does blow a matchbook up. Yeah. It blows that fucker up. Yeah. Uh, but so he's he's needling at her to try to get her to because whenever she's stressed is when her powers manifest basically, very similar to an X Men type of situation yes. really. Yes. Um. So then, um. Meanwhile, uh, next door there's a bur- a surprise birthday party that's supposed to be happening or whatever, and there's a uh, hunky Nick, uh, sexy bitch face girl, uh, sexy dork girl. <laughs> Sexy black lady, sexy redhead, yeah, sexy other blonde. All the food groups are <laughs> yes. are, 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 rep- are represented. All the all the food groups of sexy. It's the pyramid, is- <laughs> like the pyramid of of sexy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Tina's cute too. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, but so it's a cute movie. It's, <laughs> you know, I <laughs> yeah, I just called Friday Thirteenth Part Seven cute. The 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 female cast is lovely. Um. The, oh yeah. The the male cast is is kind of they're they're disposable they're just, as fuck. Yeah, they're all just Nick is fine. They're all just a bunch of like dumpsters. Yeah, they're just yeah yeah. Um yeah, the guy who plays Nick, uh, he appeared in a couple of the subspecies movies. Uh, he played Melanie Shatner's love interest in those mm-hmm. movies. Uh, she was the sister to the main girl, and yeah. Anyway. Okay. Go over to B Movie Enema. Dog, check out <laughs> check out subspecies, subspecies. month. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, he uh, he's actually the uh, the first um, openly gay uh, actor to lead a mainstream horror movie as a romantic interest. Wow, so, that is a lot of yeah. I know it's a lot of qualifiers lot of qualifiers, but yeah. But no, I mean it's still you know yeah. a movie that was mostly watched by in what eighty eight. Yeah, eighty eight. Yeah. I mean, I mean, not exactly the greatest time in the world for anything for, yeah, that too, <laughs> <laughs> to, but to be like a, you know, openly gay, openly guy. gay guy, especially, in, you know, in, in any sort of like thing where you have to sell a movie that's or sell a, yeah, in, yeah I don't, now, know. I don't been, know what I'm trying to say, but it could have been a situation where he was awesome. openly gay after like how openly gay is probably questionable but they talked about it in that crystal lake yeah, yeah. memory well so, good for him that's yeah. awesome is uh, he still around let's see yeah, yeah, he's still i think he is yeah cool. uh i can't remember his <clears throat> last name is blair i think uh maybe kevin blair maybe is what i want to think it sounds is. something right, like that yeah. um uh, but uh anyway uh so long story short this is a this is a friday 13th movie you got to get jason yes. into the mix so she's she, got jason's got to somehow get back in He's still at the bottom of the lake where people. where where Tommy dumped him. Got it. Yes. Tommy beat him. Yeah. The, Tina fucked shit up. She did, and it's stupid. <laughs> this is this is where this movie just falls apart. Is with the, the, the with why Jason is is alive and how Jason dies at the end is all fucking stupid. But well, but, so she gets upset at uh, at Professor Doctor Weekend of Bernies. Yes. And uh, goes out to the dock where she killed her dad. I'm just going to say she killed her dad. She did. She killed her dad. And apparently the body was never recovered. I guess not because she was trying to like th- basically think him back into existence. Yes. You're going to need an infinity gauntlet for that. <sighs> I think that's what you need. And I guess if this is supposed to sort of. Uh, no, I'm no. We'll talk about that at the end. Okay. So anyway, so uh, instead of bringing her dad back, she brings Jason back. Right. Because he is a literal. Well, he's a paperweight. Being <laughs> who is who is chained to a rock at the bottom of Crystal Lake, who she brings back to life with her powers. Yes, and so he comes out, and uh, he starts killing people. Yeah. The that's, end. Yeah, and she defeats him. Yeah. How does she defeat him? <sighs> <laughs> she uses her powers to summon her father from the bottom of Camp Crystal Lake. Or whatever lake. Or whatever is. lake. To to drag Jason down back into the watery depths of of the lake. You made that sound real good. Is and it good? It's not. <laughs> it makes no goddamn sense. Her father, for one, has been dead for over ten years and looks perfect. He's got a little seaweed on his face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bar- got, got a little bit of barnacle. Yeah. 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 Um, it's, it's from it's, a lake. <laughs> it's really fucking stupid. Like it's yeah. it's the dumbest. I think the dumbest ending to. To yeah, so these movies to date. There's some cool shit in the fight leading up to that moment. Sure. Like 
She uh, like she pulls a real Nancy, you know, from yeah, like she's, she's Street, busting Bonham. him in the face with some light bulbs. Yeah, she's electrocuting him with shit. She's lighting him on fire. I like when she she, she raises she, him in the air with the with the chain to hang him, and then like blows the the floor out and then drops him through. Yeah, it. it's like that's cool shit. Yeah, that's cool shit. Although he's just gonna come up the stairs oh, if he yeah. doesn't jump up. It's like I'll see you in a minute, guys. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, you know she she cut she she breaks the mask off his face. That was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, that face uh, was on the cover of a Fangoria when I was a kid, like before this came out, and it's 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 the cover of Fangoria that I want in my collection of of stuff. Yeah, uh, because I remember I I just I was inseparable. It was it was like uh, my brother John's Fangoria uh, uh, subscription. And no, John's last name is not Arbuckle, you fucking Garfield ass. Oh. Get out of here. Um, we're half brothers, damn it. <laughs> anyway, um, I was it was like his magazine subscription, but I I would not let go of that that Friday the 13th Part 7 cover. Um, I'll have to find that someday. Um, it looks he, Jason Voorhees looks awesome. In this. Yeah, he's got like exposed bones. Uh-huh. He's like all fucked up. He's like his, you can see away. his jawline and his teeth. I mean, I threw his cheek. It's, yeah, it's really. I mean, it looks great. Yeah, I mean, and my guess is John Carl Beekler uh, had had some say in that. And yeah. I mean, he looks great. This is the this is the Jason that most people think about. Uh, it's between six and seven. Is I get, what most I get of them why think. this movie is so popular because of how how awesome jason looks he yeah. is scary he is oh a, and it's got a couple of good deaths which we'll get to in a minute. And yes and it does um but yeah i mean I, nobody's really likable in this movie like tina's fine tina's fine nick is fine nick is just he's a puppy dog man nick is, he, he's just following the cute girl with all the powers and it's like dude eventually the work you put into this is not gonna be worth it, uh, yeah this maybe he's hoping it pays off and like it's not she's gonna be in the fucking psychiatric hospital whoo, for yeah years. he's really he's really like going with it for a while though yeah he yeah. wants he wants in yeah he wants into those he's white smitten. jeans he's that smitten. she's wearing he's yeah. smitten yeah you do, do stupid things and, yeah that's true but then his his buddy michael gets killed who they're trying to throw a birthday party for and he realizes that shit is actually going down Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can say a lot of things about, like, the girl who lives in the cabin next door who's never around anybody might be a little weird or might be a little say stupid things or whatever, you know, not used to being around people. You can get, but then, like, when you realize, like, people are dying, she can make the whole room shake yeah. and not when you're boning her. It's not worth it, man. It well, is. well, when she comes screaming out of the woods and says to him, "I just saw my mom. I need to find her." Yeah, and he's like, <laughs> he has this look, like, huh? Like, w- sure, what? Sure. At the end of this, maybe I'll get my dick wet. Right. That's pretty much where we're headed here. But it it can't just be about that because if he wanted that, he's got the vapid pearl necklace, you know, short oh, rich blonde girl. haired rich yeah, girl like her. who is all kinds of ready to please him. Yes. Right. So it's not all about that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. so it's so weird. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> so there are some good deaths in this movie. Uh, like you've got the the uh, the good old fashioned uh, you get the, the the sleeping bag against the tree. That's one yep. of the most iconic. That's the, one of the most the, the most famous. Kill. Yeah. Yeah. It ta- basically cuts open a girl's tent with his machete. Yeah. Then tosses that machete. <laughs> and it's like, no, that's too good for you. <laughs> Drags her out in her in her sleeping bag. And she's kicking and screaming, she's kicking and there. screaming. Yeah. Picks up the, the thing and slams it against the tree. Dead. Dead. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. You get a perfect 10 on the kill meter, it Jason. Is. Yeah, so like that the, is judges, the judges all pulled up 10s. Oh, you yes. know the judges are like Michael Myers and, yeah. and <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Yeah. A little fucking pinhead back yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> that would be a funny like cartoon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then whoever movie it is, they switch out yeah, with the guy. Totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> They do it every year when they all have a new movie out yeah, there. Yeah, like, they, they all get wins. It, who it's wins? a it's a big uh, supportive group of of mass killers. Oh man, that would actually be a fun experiment to do that, like sh- film by film. Yeah, 
and 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 give like the ratings for all the kills and and average them out. Yeah. And see who wins the the slasher Olympics. Yeah, year. I want to I want to know who the who the Russia is that's getting paid on the side. Right. For, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Is yeah. it Pinhead? Probably Pinhead. Probably given yeah. shitty scores. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 I could see Pinhead being the guy who's like. I, I really miss that in the Olympics when the the Russian judge. You knew, oh yeah, you knew that they were just going to be just shitty enough, right, to where they could explain it, but yet you know you weren't going to get right a good score, right? But that Russian skater was perfect or whatever, you know. Right, 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 yeah. exactly. Uh, anyway, man, those were good days. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so anyway, so. Um, I want okay. So you got that death. You've got um, uh, the weed whacker death for for Terry Kaiser. Oh yeah. Uh, which Jason shows up with a weed whacker. Where he get this from? Ain't nobody he saying. Figured out how to turn it on and everything. Well, he knows shit. Like if it's if this thing can kill a guy, he, he knows, knows how, how to, to use activate it. kill yeah. mode. Yeah. yeah. Um, you had the Mortal Kombat like punch r- through punch the chest, through the guy's back up through his chest, yeah. kills that dude. You know, straight dead. Yep. Uh, then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the good ones. Those are the good ones. Um, there is a decapitated head. Oh, Which yeah. leads to one of your favorite Three Stooges moment when Tina is fighting Jason. So she's fighting Jason in the living oh. room. <laughs> yeah. And she falls down next to this potted plant. And the potted plant has the dude's head in it, right? <laughs> What's she do with that? She... She uses her telekinesis powers right. to launch this plant uh-huh. with the head inside of it. Yeah, I'm at with you. Jason. <laughs> so that the I, 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 w- I would expect her to think that the actual ceramic pot would hit Jason in the head, but instead it's a headbutt. <laughs> she headbutts him with the decapitated head, and it's amazing. Yes. Um that is amazing. Yes, that's pretty good. That's probably the best moment in the series in the franchise of Jason getting got. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he <laughs> Tina gets him lots. She does. Yeah. yeah like, because there's the one point after he's killed her mom and she realizes it, she goes chasing after him, and he's standing there next to like that mud puddle, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it like does like the three quick cuts to like zoom do, in do, on do. Him. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, oh, fuck you, Jason. Fuck you. <laughs> and, it's on. Yeah. And it's like, you let's killed get, me. Let's get it on. Like, oh, you killed my mom. <laughs> so she she <laughs> she uses the trees to yeah. trip him to fall face first into the mud, which is great. Get get the bully the way the bully gets the nerd, right? Then she she causes the, uh, the, the, the power lines to break. And then she zip, 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 zaps him. But he just gets up from that. I'm thinking that, that he came back. In six with electricity, yeah. this is like Frankenstein. It's only yeah. gonna make him stronger. It's only gonna make him stronger. I agree. Right. You can't kill him with with electricity. No. Or in Japan, that's how uh, King Kong got stronger to fight Godzilla was with electricity. Godzilla yes. fucked up and electrocuted him. It's, anyway. a, it's a rookie move, Godzilla. Yeah, I know, right, dude? Yeah. dude? That's why he shoves that fucking tree into your face. Yeah, in the <laughs> <light>. <laughs> and trams it down your throat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, but Tina doesn't know any better. She is a rookie. Yeah, you know, so True. like she she has to keep. She's a, she's a rated rookie, but she's a rookie. She is a rated rookie, tops yeah. rated Top, rookie. Donruss, yeah. but yeah. Oh, Donruss. Yeah. What was tops? They were the future stars. The future stars. That's right. Yeah. Anyway, so wow, we just <laughs> what did Fleer have? Fleer had something too. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, so like by the time she gets to the idea of hey, I'm going to get him with the headbutt, that's she's learning. Yeah, she knows what she's oh, doing yeah. now. She's like, oh, yeah. Haha, motherfucker. <laughs> oh yeah, she's toying with him a little bit. She's, right. she's Spider Man, Spider Manning a little bit. A little bit. Oh, the uh, the rich girl does get it pretty good. Where like she's the oh, last. She gets it really. She's good. the last of the cannon fodder mm-hmm. to survive, and so she's like, she's still wanting that Nick Dick. Yeah. And Nick's like, no, don't go back she over has to our a cabin. Singular focus in this movie. Yes. Get that dick. Get mm-hmm. that Nick Dick. Get that Nick Dick. And she's like, I'm going to go back over here, and if you want to come with me, and if you want to plow this pussy, you can come with me. Yeah. And he's like, no, don't go over there. That's bad. That's bad. There's literally dead bodies everywhere. And there is a fucking silhouette of Jason that just walked, walked in front of the door. Right. <laughs> and so she opens the door. Jason's standing there, and she's like, ah. You know, like, naturally. 
he fucking uh, what axes her in the face. Oh, it's a big axe swing right into the fucking like forehead. Yeah. Right, it's sticking out of her forehead, yeah. and then he just tosses her behind the TV. Yeah, picks her up, throws her into the corner of the room. She splats against the wall and slides back behind the television. Yeah, it's one hell of a death. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and like I said, money can't buy you a better death. <laughs> <laughs> when Jason comes for you, you're just going to have to accept what he does to you. Yeah. Um, but it's so. It's kind of a fun movie. And they're talking fun. about it now. It's kind of a fun movie. It's just it, there's it's, something dull about it. And I don't know what it is. Here's the thing. I know somebody. Lack of likable characters is definitely up there. Right. Which is one of the biggest downfalls in any of in any of these movies, yeah, which is when we eventually get to Freddy versus Jason, is the reason why I've kind of changed my opinion over mm. time of that movie. Mm. It's not as fun anymore. Mm. Um, although, um, I like the lead. I like the lead girl a lot. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, but anyway, um, so, so I know a, a guy, and we've we're been around the internets long enough to know that this movie is extremely well liked. Yeah. And here's the reason why I think it is. It hits that sweet spot right before the slasher movie died. Like 1988, it's before part eight, and a lot of people are so, like, irritated with how bad part eight is that I think they're willing to give this movie higher standing as saying this is the last good one. Yeah. But eight is fun. It's not good. It's fun. And it's you ain't seen nothing until nine came along. Oh god! Well, I think I it'll be interesting when we do eight for this um, for the next special because uh, I remember kind of liking eight, but eight was eight was the first Eight's one I mess. saw in the theater, right? And that was the, this is the first one and, I saw. And in the you theater. saw seven. There was the yes. first one you saw in the theater. Um, and I just remember kind of liking eight. I remember I remember all of the. Um, the the clip art from that and like him in, in manhattan like air quotes manhattan right right and thinking it was know, just in vancouver right and, and yeah and it was and it was for about 20 minutes yeah. at the end yeah um but but there was something about that movie that um for me i think it was when i was really truly for the first time uh awakened to what this phenomenon was well and, what these movies were because right. i think i was maybe 12 or something I was 10 when 7 came out. Yeah, so the summer of 88 was when uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 4 and Friday the 13th 7 came out. Yeah. 89 is when Part 8 came out, and everybody's like, Ugh, oh. Oh, 89 was Part 8? Yeah, 89 okay, so was, was Part 8. Okay, so I was 10 eight. when that one came out then. And uh, 89 was also Part 5 of Friday of Nightmare on Elm Street, and that one's garbage yeah, pile too. Yeah, terrible. So, you know, it's like, this is... the. So, the, the slasher movie is about to die, or at least get significantly changed by the 90s. Yes. So, um, I think that there's a, I think there's bonus points for this movie being, because um, I also think that by the late 80s also, it was relatively, what's the word I'm looking for, innocuous, maybe? That these movies weren't all that... The slasher did, though. It died. It died. It, with these, but it's with, but this movie wasn't considered like, oh, if you if you let your kids see this movie, no. it's going to turn turn them in the devil. But worshiper. the censors went bonkers oh, with this yeah. movie. Yeah. Talk about that a little well, bit. Well, It was just it, you can see it. It's so apparent in every kill in this movie that it's all just a little bit less. It's, it's, uh, cut, it's a, a cut away. A little quick. A cut a little quick. It's just all a little less like there are. You could you could definitely tell that they wanted to make a splatter film and like a really fun. We want to really show these kills and make them the best we've ever done for this franchise. But they were neutered. Um, they just absolutely were. There's been there have been stories about how if the if the censors hadn't gotten a hold of this like they did, that the the this might have been the best. Because it, at least the spectacle would have been, and you're just waiting for the next one. You're and, waiting for the next splatter to happen. And what's, what I've also heard is that it's all lost to time because the, none of this footage exists anymore. Some does. A DVD that I have has some, but it's rough. It's rough, and, is there, and, and yet there's not a lot of it. No, there's just a couple. Yeah. Um, there's, uh, I think there's more to the guy who gets punched through. Yeah. 
and there's something else. But um, now I don't know about this. I meant to look this up before we started recording, but I kind of forgot. When this came out, there was a rumor. I don't know if it was a real rumor or one of those urban legends or if it was just something that was started by somebody and somehow it caught fire in the late 80s. But supposedly, so Kane Hodder is Jason in this. Now, supposedly, it was known that he was one of the banana splits. Wait, what? Yes, that he was one of the guys in the suits for the banana splits. That's hilarious. I don't know if that's true. You're looking it up right now, aren't you? La, 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 which... Like, oh, that's interesting. By now, maybe the Banana Splits that movie is going to be out. The uh, yeah, the the, the, the the Five Nights of Freddy's, Five Nights of yeah. Freddy's uh, Banana Splits movie. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. Yeah. So I and I don't know that just added something a little bit, almost like that was just another way to lure kids to watch this movie, you know, or to watch these movies, right? You know, it's like because we didn't have any concept of oh no, that's a guy in a suit. And he's he's a stunt man who's dressed up, right? Like we don't think of it as we think of it as he's a legitimate actor, right? You know, it's like it's like saying the guy in the Godzilla suit is is a legitimate actor. Well, no, he's a stunt man or he's a he's an effects guy in a suit. If he was if he was in the banana splits, it's not on his film. I don't. I swear to God, that's just one of those. That's he was just the like, he was the gorilla in House Two, the second story, though. Well, that's not that's not the same. He's not the gorilla from. <laughs> if he's not if if that if that sentence didn't end with the gorilla from the banana splits, then that shit doesn't mean shit. He's also older geek in Hard Bodies. I want to see that Hard Bodies. I want to see him as we older geek. Him at the, yeah. Anyway, um, so. Uh, no, it was just one of those things. Like it's, it's like the one. I think it was maybe one of those urban legends that some kid said that he heard something wrong or something. Because it's, it's kind of like saying, you know, it's like, oh, if you go into the woods and you <laughs> and you move the right rock or something, you'll see the the remains of of a, of a ghastly murder or something. It's like, oh, I want to go out in the woods and find it, you know. And all you find out in the woods are porn, discarded yeah. porn, <laughs> you know, <laughs> used condoms, used condoms <laughs> and discarded porn <laughs> and beer bottles. <laughs> um, anyway, no, I mean, we know people. This is like I was saying when we started this four, six and seven usually are the top three in any poll. And I think that it's just because of the time that this came out. And the fun, there is a funness to it yeah. that it probably registers more um, nostalgically. Yeah, for some people, but I, I put it, I you know, yeah, I, I would put it in the mix with like two and three. It's yeah. a, it's in the conversation for me. Um, yeah, I mean it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's a little stupid, but it's fun. It's a lot stupid. Yeah, I mean it's. Like you have, like you have all those subplots where, like, the redheaded girl wants to sleep with the drug uh, guy, and but also the nerdy girl wants to sex herself up, which that gets her immediately killed. Immediately, that's immediately. What, that's what you get. Yeah. For being sexy. Yeah, you should have just gone home, but she's hanging out with douchebags anyway. Yeah. Um, you've got like the whole thing with with the uh, Melissa, the hot blonde that wants to just plow Nick. Yes. Like she wants to take everything from Nick. I think she everything. I think she want I think she is maybe as a succubus. Might have been. Yeah. Might have been. Like she like and Jason just discarded her like she was nothing. Nope. Axe yeah. to the forehead. Yep. Tossed behind the TV. Yes. Um so there's like stuff like that going on, but it's really kind of dumb. It's it's really just what do we do with these characters? It's a bit vapid. Because yeah. there's a bunch of characters yeah. in this movie. And it's like what do we do with these people until they get killed? Right. You know, and it's like well there's this and, whole surprise birthday party but, element. And nobody but, cared. Nobody cared about these uh, these characters at no. all. They're they're like you said cannon fodder. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, just stuffing these people yeah. into a cannon. Yeah. Which is which is why I don't think this movie stands against a a six or a four um, or a two, right? Where you really kind of like yeah. these characters. They're, right. They, they, you could at least say that most of those characters, like, I ain't got nothing against them. Right. Why are they getting killed? Or they just feel genuine and they seem like 
you know, normal people and you sort of identify with, with them. one of them. Right. Yeah. In some uh, way. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and ones you don't, you like, they are like, they could be my friends. And, yes. It's like, I may not be that guy. I, I may not be that guy. Like I am, uh, you know, like you could say, it's like, you could even say I'm the, um, uh, the, the goofy guy in, in four. Why is his name? Uh, Which, Crispin me. Glover? Crispin Glover. Yeah. I, you, even if you said that, you could still say that his friend that calls him a dead fuck yeah. he could still be my friend. Yeah. You know, it's like there's no... Everybody's had a friend like that. Yeah, and, and he's not being necessarily mean. He's no. just joking with it, yeah. you know? And it's like... Their relationship is great. Yeah, they're fantastic. Yeah. And they, they are friends. They are, they give each other shit. It's, yes. it's relatable. Right. Yes. Right. Everybody's not going to piss out of somebody, and that's yeah. life, man. Yeah. You know, but this one... This one you just, don't have those this connections. This one just seems places. like they all hate each other. Like they're right, not, like none of them the, really e- like each other. Even the black kids like fuck this. We're going out to the van and fucking. Yeah. Like I don't even want to be in the house with these like, assholes. Yeah, none of them actually <laughs> seem like friends. It's no, weird. they're it's just weird. they're just a collection of people. Like there's no reason why the we nerdy gotta girl, ride a stoner. We got to ride a sci-fi nerd. We got to ride. Right. I there's mean, there's no reason for the sci-fi together. nerd to fit in with this group. No. There's no reason for the nerdy girl to be friends with the rich bitch right like the 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 sci-fi nerd and the nerdy girl should be friends they should be the ones hooking up right they don't right um the the uh at one point you see the black dude uh, throwing a football with one of the white dudes other than that i don't know if they're friends right you know uh, he's got a black girlfriend so they're together that's okay we know we know absolutely nothing more about them than they're gonna die than they're gonna die (laughs) in the course of the movie yeah 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 the only one we know anything about really are is the w- rich bitch who just wants to fuck Nick, and we know Nick. Right. But the rest of it is just it's all it's all Tina's movie. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Um, and Tina, as interesting a character as she, as she is, you're almost kind of given too much about her yeah. right from the beginning, so you don't really care enough about her arc either. Right. Because you sort of get it. Well, you get two flashback scenes of her killing her. Yeah, dad. exactly. Uh, wh- <laughs> so there's no mystery there with her other than right. why does she have these powers, which is, spoiler alert, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody knows. She nobody just does. Knows. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, though there is one thing that I do definitely like at the beginning of this movie is the the recap. The, oh, the, that was that's really good. I like yeah. the creepy, uh, whoever did that narration is great. The VO on that, the recap, the recap is awesome. It's like telling a campfire tale, yeah, it's, which is, which kind of goes back to something we've talked about before, yes, whether, yes. whether or not any of this stuff makes any difference, what the time, because by the time, if you really think about the timeline of the, like I said, this takes place in like 2237, right? Because of all the, the, the year gaps yeah. that, that or year jumps that yeah. happen. Yep. Um, it doesn't really matter because maybe none of it's real anyway. It's, it's, all it's, it's a campfire tale. That was really why. Well. It's probably the only moment in the movie that is like, it's, it's like felt sort of um, aware Smart. or self aware or even artistic in a sense. Yeah. Like this is this that moment felt right. Well, I did like it when Melissa got tossed behind the TV. Well, that yeah, was pretty that artistic. Was pretty artistic. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, I mean, I'm, and and, I, and that's a shitty thing to say, actually, artistic, because there is a lot of really amazing artistry. Oh my on god, they blow up a fucking house. We haven't talked yeah. about that. They they blow, they blow up, up the a fucking, fucking house. house. They it's a great explosion. It is, and man. They they, they, they and, got angles, and, and that's on that. goddamn art. Yeah, yeah. And they and the 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 special effects and the makeup effects and the, oh the makeup effects and are the so um, good. the stunt work in this it's all really really good. It's it's top notch. I mean, they were making a, a big budget Friday the Thirteenth movie. Yeah, but. You know, the story was weak. <clears throat> but the story wasn't... No. I mean, it was just, how can we get that makeup piece into this yeah, movie? Let's shoehorn Carrie into Friday the 13th, see what happens. Yeah. I mean, that could have worked a lot better if they actually cared more well, trim beyond down, just that idea. Right. Four characters died in the fucking woods. Yeah. Bef- aside from their friends, one died in the water, one died in, in the woods next to the water, <laughs> 18 people died in the house. You know, it's like there's too many characters here. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like you get pair off, yeah, cull about half of these characters in a different way. Yeah, like, like they kind of did that in the in the good ones, right? Like, uh, like in one of them, you had the the one girl eating the banana, like hitchhiking, right? Yeah, they just cull her just because Jason's got to must kill something, right? 
Um, in part six, Tony Goldwyn and, and the wife of the director are killed just because he's alive now and he must kill something. We didn't have to know anything more about those people. Right. This movie feels like we should know more about all of these characters. And there's like so many characters. I don't know yeah. who's who. I don't yeah. even remember most of their names. No. No. Why would you? Right. I mean, Tina, Nick, Melissa, and it was Michael's birthday party. Michael's birthday party. That's it. That's, That's all, all I, I remember. Got. Yep. So I can't tell you the sci-fi nerd's name. Nope. Maddie is the girl that's also in uh, My Mom's a Werewolf. Oh, yeah. But I know that because I've seen My Mom's a Werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> and we talked about how she looked like the girl from Night of the Comet and uh, Chopping Mall. Right. Right. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, If this is your favorite Friday the 13th, that's cool. That's fine. That's cool. I mean, these are all... It's probably for a lot of people the first one they saw in the theater. Probably. I mean, that's a probably. fucking fact, right? So I get it. I get it. You have a nostalgia about it. It's your jam. It doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. Um, we're get, we're getting there. Yeah, we're 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 rushing headlong into suckage. This is probably <laughs> like the top of middle tier for me. Yeah, middle tier, I would say. I mean, better than five by far. Probably better than five is is strangely more watchable two. though. Yeah, but that's because that is such a weird movie. Yeah. Yeah, I like this I one know. better than one and three for sure. Okay. And then we'll, we'll we'll chat about its placement with two and five. Yeah. It's in there somewhere. Yeah. And then it's clear to me still to this day that four and six just rise above them all. Yeah. They're like head and shoulders they're, above. They're, they're in their own stratosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I think I think we've done all we need to do for this Friday I agree. the 13th. I agree. Hey. Uh, you know what? Special. Special. This is special. This was special. Uh, we do it again here in a few months. We will. Well, we finally we get we get just three months three and we months get another, we get another Friday, Friday the thirteenth. Thank God. Yep. And I don't think we got to wait that long for the next one in two thousand twenty. It was fourteen months. I know. That's hard. I know that's hard. We got to watch these Friday thirteenth. You, you, you know who's really pissed about that is fucking AMC. They're like we 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 do Friday thirteenth things all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know who's also pissed about it? Jason fucking Voorhees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he, oh, he's sharpening. Yeah, he's like, right oh, now. he's God, so ready to 14 go. 14 months of death he's coming. He's so ready to go. You guys in December, not many of you are going to die. But There's going to be a lot of us dying tonight. But 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 watch out, because you better survive September. <laughs> There's a lot that's going to die tonight, in September. Tonight, you're fucked. Yeah. Yep. You lock up tight, board yeah. the windows, don't, don't. Just don't do anything. Don't but, fuck. But you're right. If you're listening to this in December, you escaped. And we're rushing headlong uh -huh. into another, which will be a smaller calling. Uh -huh. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so new episodes, new regular episodes. We're going to get back to the Poison sexiness. Ivy. The sexiness. The sexy September next week. Ooh, will it be Poison Ivy 3? Three? Three, yeah. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Still you not my favorite. You're coming off of the high of Jeff's favorite. And you're which you bitched about the whole goddamn time. And you're coming into your favorite, my favorite. Yeah. C U M M I N. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. That's gross. That was gross. I apologize. Um. Anyway, you know the you know the deal. Uh, filmseizure dot com. You got you got the Apple Podcast, iTunes, whatever it's called right now. Uh, Google Play, Tune In, Spotify. We upload shit to YouTube. We talk about new movies when they come out from time to time. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we're kind of in a dead spot there right now. Uh, next one I plan on talking about is probably Joker. Oh. In October. Yeah, I'd be interested to come on to that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do that. Yeah, we can dig it. I, I, I like the Scorsese, like, taxi driver, king of comedy angle. Yeah. That movie seems to be coming at. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Um, follow us facebook and twitter at film seizure please 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 do please do please do um anyway so uh we'll get you uh, right back into uh the swing of sexy september the swing the swing the sex swing of september sex swing of september uh Ooh. but the uh, 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 sex swings you run into fall right yeah yep so it's very yeah very acrobatic yeah sexy september <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, until next time, I am Jeff Arbuckle. I am Jason Oliver, and you have been listening to Film Seizure. Special. Special.